And what do I get for telling you? Money, if that is what you wish. Now tell me where she is. What about power? Are you in a position to give that to me as well? Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Apparently. My work here at the college is done. I'm being told by the professors that I cannot pursue any further quests until my magicka level is at 50 in a school of magic. And as much as I've trained, Still no as much as I've tried to learn from these no. people, I'm not expecting it. I don't have really? that level. That must be so nice. So I it's came time to, to hang up these robes. To get away from my family's expectations. And get back to my dragon scale armor. And begin adventuring again. All right, much better. Even though I'm leaving behind some enchanted clothing that helps me in my battle. I'm gonna go ahead and resume my life as an adventurer. Farewell, students, and good luck to you. And here we are, back to Ferdum, I believe it's called. My home. Although it displeases me, it's the home for a vampire. And even... Oh no, what's going on? There's something out here. Let me get my followers. Hmm? Oh. You're all here, good. No one left. All right, well. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't do that while talking to you. One day it'll work. Yes, maybe it will. Anyhow, my work at the college is done. I've learned all I we can We've got some now. time to talk? What do you need to talk about? What's up? Follow me. You lead on. I'll follow. All right. I am your sword and your shield. Well, we'll put that to the test. Honored to see you again, my Thane. Follow me. Lead the way. Ah, and Zelzaz cooking, I see. Hmm? Hopefully a delicious meal. I've missed your cooking. Can I help you? Yes. I'd like you to join me. Sure. Let's be on our way. All right. Since we will be traveling together for a while now, I believe this will be appropriate. And what is this? That is Ruby. She is a Dwemer hummingbird. I found her in a Dwemer ruin some years back. I can send her to find people for me and communicate with them through her and my locket. So, if either of us get lost, we will be able to find one another. Hmm, this is incredible. She is. Ruby has been quite the boon ever since I found her. I'm quite protective of her, and I tend to not send her on long journeys. But I figure with our current arrangement, she would be very useful tagging along with you for a little while. Take good care of Ruby, all right? <laughs> all right. Why don't you tell me a story? When I was a young hireling, I would occasionally pilfer a few plants from the tower conservatory. It would be common things like coda flowers and trauma root. I'd mix a few of these stolen plants together to make some potions that allowed me to levitate, but also be invisible. I used the potions to float to the top of Relevan Sewell's tower in order to get a nice view of Lothanis. Sewell had specifically told me that I was not allowed to climb the tower. One time, it seemed that one of my ingredients had gone off, as the invisibility effect wore off quickly. Sewell 
caught me sitting on top of the tower one evening. Rather than scold me, he seemed to be impressed. At that point, we had hardly spoken. He only knew I was Oren's assistant. He challenged me to make him a potent enough levitation potion that could take him to Ranyon Rune and back. I returned to the tower conservatory, this time able to use whatever plants and ingredients I wanted. After a few hours of tasting and experimenting with a variety of ingredients, I returned to Sewell. He handed one of his servants a large sack of gold and told him to drink the potion. Sewell asked him to go to Ranyon Rune, purchase three portions of ebony, and return. After a while, the servant returned, three portions of ebony in hand. When the servant had almost reached the tower, the potion wore off. No. He plummeted towards the ground, thankfully landing in the bay. I did not pass Sewell's challenge, but I had far surpassed his expectations. He knew that the ebony had not been part of my calculations. From then on, he would always stop by the apothecary to see me when he could, sometimes giving me some new ingredients to work with. That incident was the catalyst for my journey up through the ranks of House Talvani. Well, that's an interesting story. Back to... whatever we were doing. Yes. We were leaving. All right, all of you, and I'm curious, Lydia, how are you doing living here with two Argonian men? <laughs> I'm sure it's a test of your fortitude and stamina, especially with your disposition and your outspokenness against those who are not Nords. But anyhow, join us. Be useful. All right. There's something out here. What should I use? Now that I have new spells, Let's try Ice Storm. What? Oh, of course, and it's a Frostbite Spider. Multiple ones. All right, we'll change to something else then. Get them! Zelzaz, do we have more to talk about? Yes, Biko Gel. What? All right, well, I right. don't think I have anything else to say. Mm -hmm. Oh, you summoned a Atronach as well. I had sensed some enemies behind our home. Yes, look at this. Oh, we need to clear this place out. Hmm. There's still more?
Is that it? Are there more? I think we're done. Zells asks, why do I feel compelled to talk to you? I don't think we have anything else to say at the moment. All right, well, it's time for us to resume our adventures. I say we head back to White Run. Here we are. It's been a while. It's good to have some pleasant weather. And it's a shame I'm saddened as I walk by the Breeze home that we couldn't live here. At least I got my money back. I'm going to be asking for the money from Fairdom, too. I'm very disappointed in that place. One of the guards said he saw a mage appear out of thin air. Claimed it was one of those Sijic monks. Mm -hmm. The man's been hit in the school, I say. Amran? Yes, but there are... I wonder if there are any friendly dragons out of this. Okay, I doubt this already. I doubt it, too. It's a shame that I cannot pay for training here in this world. There's something wrong. It's only a few people that have been able to train me. You there. Ismir, you did it. You killed a dragon. Yes, I did. The Greybeards have summoned the Dragonborn to High Hrothka. Such a thing has not happened for hundreds of years. Well, I thought you might have something for me to do. Apparently, I'm mistaken. But let me ask, aren't you a priestess of Kinnereth? Indeed. The temple here in the city is my charge. The goddess's divine blessings have no doubt helped to make White Run a thriving and prosperous city. After all, it is she who brings rain to our crops and fair weather on the harvest days. All right, well, good day. The grace of Kinnereth be with you. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. <laughs> I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. All right, I think I need to speak with that red god woman. She was trying to lure me upstairs to her quarters. Greetings, traveler. Greetings. If you find that you have a hard time carrying everything, try combining some giant's toes and river betties. They'll improve your strength. Oh, you've been waiting for so, me. are you working with them? You think you can take me? You so much <laughs> as touch me and you're going to lose fingers. Really? I mean it. I'll, I'll cut you in half. So the Alakir know where I am? You're what do they offer? Me. Gold? How many more of them are coming? Tell me. Put that down before you get hurt. I'm sorry. Just, just don't hurt me. I know you're not one of them, but you just can't help them. You can't let them know I'm here. Please, will you help me? There's no one here I can trust. Maybe. What do you want? I am not the person that the people of White Run think I am. My real name is Eamon. I am a noble of House Suda in Hammerfell. The men who are looking for me, the Alakir, they are assassins in the employ of the Almeri Dominion. They wish to exchange my blood for gold. I need you to root them out and drive them away before they find me and drag me back to Hammerfell for an execution. And how am I supposed to get rid of them? Kill them? Kill them all? <laughs> They're mercenaries, only in it for the money. They're led by a man named Kamatu. Get rid of him, and the rest will scatter. I don't dare show my face, lest they recognize me. So you'll have to find out where they are. I've run across these Alakir before, standing by the gate. I know where they're hiding. You've seen them? Then waste no time. Head there at once. The longer they're around, the more danger I'm in. Please, kill Kamatu and end this nightmare for me. Oh, John, stop dallying. You know you have to go. It's why Mom 
All right, well, I think I remember where the Alakir are hiding. You mean you won't forget about and I have a way in. Good. Wipe them out. So long as one of them is left alive, they will come for me. Find me the moment the Alakir are taken care of. Hmm. Very well. Oh, and who are you? Mind your own business. Is that it? Thanks. Should mind yours. If you wish to continue living. All right, Zelzaz, let's go. Here we are, at Rorik's dead. Let's go and talk to those Alakia. Let's make sure we're getting adequate payment for what we're about to undertake. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Are you a mage? Can I help you? Can I help you? Apparently you can't. Oh, look, there's an Alakir here. And then there's one in this room. You, you're the one I need to speak with. Do you have news of our quarry? I'm not saying it's... Mysterious. I've seen the woman you're looking for. You, so you have? Where? Tell me now. You're right. It's none of your business. And what do I get for telling you? Money, if that is what you wish. Now tell me where she is. What about power? Are you in a position to give that to me as well? Hm, I didn't think so. Anyhow, she's in the Bannered Mare, and she knows you're out here. We cannot go after her. Not without drawing attention. You must bring her to us. Lead her to the White Run stables outside of the city. We will wait for you there. All right. Mm hmm. Nothing like duplicity. You picked a bad time to get lost. Huh? We're going to take a slight detour to Swindler's Den. over here healing. Is that you, Zelzaz? Oh, you again. Yes? Mm-hmm. And who is this? Need something? Huh. Farewell. All right, then. Are they going in here again? Squad. from what is this an herbal infusion restores 
100 stamina per second and health is increased by 70 points for 10 seconds and completely restores magicka. Well, I'm a little thirsty. I think I'll have it. Let's go. Huh? Time to end this little game. You know, I can't even get in here to use my magic. Oh, that was draining. Alright, are you all going to fight? On your guard. Over here! Unfortunately, there are too many corpses, and I hunger.
be able to strengthen myself. Oh. Beastly might as a werewolf, your health and, health and stamina are increased by 100. Sharing the sap of a history doesn't just serve as a religious ritual. The Agonians and the history become bonded and can feel each other's emotions even from afar. Shh. The rulers of Blackmarsh therefore often share the sap. I of can the same sense history. that there are men up ahead. You've proven your strength, boy. Let's avoid any more bloodshed. I think you and I have some things to talk about. Do we now? Abandoned wizard. Brilliant. So, you must be Kamatu. What do you need? Tell me, why are you after Sadia? She sold the city out to the Albmeri Dominion. Were it not for her betrayal, Tanith could have held its ground in the war. The other noble houses discovered her betrayal, and she fled. They want her brought back alive. The resistance against the Dominion is alive and well in Hammerfell, and they want justice. And that's it? Mm-hmm. Until next time. Need something? Mm-hmm. Until next time. Yes? Mm-hmm. Well, I suppose we must go and talk to Sadia. What do you need? Farewell. Yes. All right, then. Ah, oh, look at this. Well, this is disappointing. Hmm. One of the simplest pleasures in life is fresh bread rolls straight from the oven. The smell alone fills you with joy. Then you cut it, top it with some butter. Watch it melt into the bread. Incredible how something so simple can taste so good. All right, let's go. We'll do this the diplomatic way.
All right, now I'm getting lost. Let's get back to Sadia. Dragons, Draga. Any news of the army? Well, good morning. Nothing I won't fight. I was unable to defeat them all, and they're coming for you. What? How? I thought they weren't allowed within the city. They found a way in. We need to get you out of here. But where will I go? I can't keep running forever. There's a horse waiting at the stables. I'll make sure that you're safe. After all this, I have to pick up and leave again? If you really think this is the only way, I trust you. Let's not waste any time. Until next time. All right, let's go. This way. Bits and bubbles for sale. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Spare coin for a poor beggar. Come to chat with an old woman, hmm? Do your good deed for the day. Oh no, she got confused. This way. There's a nip in the air. Why is this man standing here? Never is. Idiots. Are you serious? I own Will the farm just outside the city walls. Nimriel takes good care of things for me. Let's get to the stables before they find me. Yes, let's. idiots. Well, Kamatu, I don't know if our plan is going to work. Seriously, now you're going to block her too? Enjoy the open plains outside the walls. And the architecture feels open. Perhaps it is in order to let kind winds blow through the city. I do feel her presence while we are here. Well, what can I say? I 
Let's get to the stables before they find them. Out on the plains here. All right, come on. There are more farms, though. I can't believe I'm able to fight with the Dragonborn. There's a nip in the air. Good for my crops. There you are. Someone murder! Murder! It's what she deserved. A secret scroll. And where's Kamatu? What a pity. Too powerful. The story of my life. All right, well. That's one way to complete the mission. <laughs>